Alright, so what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA. We are back here for another episode of the Spurs franchise. Episode number three. And the squad has honestly just been killing it so far. I mean, we're doing so, so, so good. And, I mean, you guys already saw all the moves that we made. It. If, if you guys know the series, make sure you want to like it up. And, of course, subscribe. Let's get 90 plus likes for another episode of this series. Now, I can't lie. In this season, we might be showing like two to three games and heading right back into the offseason because I do want to build up this team and get them back to where they used to be. So, you guys missed the last episode. We hired Tim Duncan because Pop retired. Um, we picked up RJ Hampton with the 10th overall pick. Picked up Obi Toppin with the 18th overall pick. And we picked up Onyeka Nkongu with the 21st pick. And he's, he's just a backup plan. Regardless, man, I really enjoy this this team. I think this team is going to be really, really good. We're starting Hampton at shooting guard. We're going to see how that thing works out. But regardless, man, just let me know what, what you guys think about this video. Make sure you go ahead and like it up. And, of course, subscribe. I really want to see how good this team can actually be. I mean, the spur way might be, might be to bring him off the bench. And I've been thinking about it. It's like, yo, should I just bring him off the bench and see how he can do there? Because, the, like, if we're being real, that's probably what the Spurs would do. Like, they probably would just say, hey, bro, you need to cool it. Come, come off the bench for a little minute, and we can see how you can actually do. And I th you know what? That's what we're going to do. All right. That's what we're going to do. Obi's getting 15. Onyeka's getting 13. Let's get Lonnie Walker about 20. Let's give him about 26, you feel me? Get about 25. All right. He's he. So, we're, we swept that up a little bit. I just want to see it because the Spurs do like to, like, roll with the guys that have been there. So, we're playing the, the, the Sixers in our debut. This ain't that good. This ain't that good. But we're just going to have to go ahead and see how this thing goes. Hopefully, we can actually get that dub. I'm curious. But, yeah, this is the NBA debut for all of our rookies. They're all coming off the bench. And hopefully, RJ just, like, hopefully RJ just catches fire and he's great because then we can easily find a way to start him. But other than that, let's get straight into it. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Tonight, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the San Antonio Spurs. Well, for San Antonio, their season starts away from home. Presents an interesting challenge. Every team wants to start out the year right, but they're going to have to block out a lot of noise to grab that first victory. And here we are. Welcome to Philadelphia, the birthplace of America. The downtown skyline shining brilliantly tonight. Welcome, everybody, to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, Joel Embiid and the Sixers have been through a lot in the last five years. At the beginning, there were so... Thank you, David. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Spurs. On Friday, they'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Memphis Grizzlies. And then on Saturday, they'll go up against Russell Westbrook and the Houston Rockets. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. Aaron Gordon out there with Bamba. Then it's Johnson. Then there's... But getting straight into the gameplay, let's see what we can actually do with this team. Now, like I said before, man, I really like this team. I, I don't I don't know how we're going to do this season. I mean, I'm really looking for an improvement from uh, Mo Bamba. Like, for me, he really has to improve. Um, the only problem with this, I mean, debut is these are both really, really good defensive teams. Like, the Sixers are obviously a great defensive team with, with Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid over there. Um, so, but I see isn't the best defender. They got Al Horford. But we're also a pretty good defensive team as well. I mean, De DeJounte Murray is a great defender. Mo Bamba is a great defender. Lon Lon Lonnie Walker is a great defender. Aaron Gordon, not so much. <laughs> but we do got a lot of those guys uh, on this team that they can actually defend. Our coach is still a work in progress. It's Tim Duncan's first year as a head coach. So hopefully it works out with him. Here's DeJounte Murray. Getting to the rack pretty damn easy if you ask me. But yeah. I right, just want to hear what you guys think about this series, what direction you guys want to go. Obviously, for this season, I don't plan on showing a whole lot of games as Hampton throws a nice little oop to Rudy Gay. But I don't plan on showing, uh, you know, a lot of gameplay in, like, 
this first here because I don't want to show us being bad. So if we're bad, I'm not going to be showing a, a lot of it. Another oop to one Yekka from RJ Hampton. But, you know, as the series goes on, we'll, we will be showing a lot more games. Regardless, I really like the team. Like, I, I really like the team. Uh, RJ Hampton struggled so much, especially in the first half. Like, he, he struggled a lot in the first half. He got things a little bit together in the second. But, you know, he's definitely going to be a work in progress. We, we plan on turning him into our franchise player because I think he has more offensive potential than De, than DeJounte Murray. We're also going to try to build on Keldon Johnson as well. And, of course, Mo Bamba, like I said before. Aaron Gordon is really just holding the spot for right now. I don't really plan on keeping him long term. Very put back by Rudy Gay. You go, Rudy Gay is looking... He looking, he looking real nice, and we're beating Philly, so this team is pretty tough if you ask me. That's all I'm going to say. Man, I can't even lie. Both teams are struggling from just shooting. Ben Simmons, he's only getting points in the paint, to be real. Joel Embiid's getting his shit clamped by both our centers. Mo Bamba's having an insane game. Uh, we're learning points by Aaron Gordon. I, I didn't even know he had 19 points. Bamba got 12 and 18 boards, 50% shooting. RJ Hampton has 9 and 5 off the bench. Not the best shooting. He's struggling a little bit. Rudy Gates having a solid game. Onyeki got 7, 2 boards. But it feels like he's playing just so much better, to be honest, though. Keldon's struggling. DeJounte's struggling. The whole team is struggling. But both teams are just shooting bad. Like, both of these teams are really good defensive teams. They're shooting 41% from the field. We're shooting 39. They're shooting... Uh, they're shooting 31% from the three. We're shooting 25. Yikes. It ain't looking too good for both teams. All right. That's what I'm saying. Watch out. Okay. Okay. Please excuse me, legal screen, buddy. Ooh, okay. Never mind. They've never called that. So, yikes. Now they're trying to pull away a little bit. This ain't good. This ain't good. Yeah, we got to get DeJounte out. Because RJ, he got 12 now. And he, at least he's playmaking. Like, DeJounte's struggling. I'm sorry. A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> What's going on here? But what kind of lineup is this? Do we got Keldon at power forward? You're getting your shit clamped, buddy. We got a really good defensive team. Like, for reals. Going right in. With oh, I like that 14 and 5. Hampton's starting to turn up a little bit in the second half, I see. He's playing a lot better in the second half. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Four-point game. He's going right to the rack. Get that out of here, my boy. Excuse me. Right. Easy pass to Keldon. Two-point game. Okay. Hamptons. Now nah, Now he's playing a lot better. Got 14-6 in his debut. Yeah. Shoot. Shoot that. Shoot that. All this driving, that's all he can do. Dude, what else can I ask from, like, Mo Bamba? Like, realistically, what else can I ask him to do? Joel Embiid is one of the best players in the NBA. I was trying to drive. I was trying to drive. Oh, my gosh. That could have been a steal, too. Shoot that. Dang. That's all his ass can do. That's all his ass can do. That is infuriating. Like, that, that is pissing me off so much. Yeah, all Ben Simmons is doing is damn hook shots. Oh, my gosh. We can't make free throws to save our lives. Oh, my goodness. Bruh. Bruh. We ain't scoring for the rest of the game? Yikes. Yeah, like I said, we got a lot of things to work on. Uh, Aaron Gordon was really, really nice. 21, three three-pointers. Hampton had 15 and 6. He shot terribly from the field, but I expect that to improve. Mobamba with 12 and 19 points. He's really, really, really good. He also hit a 3 for us. We struggled all across the board. Uh, we got a lot of things to work on. Like I said with this team, Ben Simmons was killing it in the paint, man. All of the point guards he's playing are, are like 6'3", 6'4", 6'5". He out here is 6'11". He's, 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 his man is like Shaq. But regardless, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go and like it up and subscribe. Do you got to say, man, I like the way that RJ Hampton played. It was just so natural for him to become a playmaker. So I know it's been one game, but I'm going to go back to what I wanted to do in the first place, except this time. 
I'm giving Hampton the keys to the offense. We're going to try that out next game. We're going to see how this thing works. Our schedule starts off so damn hard, bro. The Sixers, Memphis with Anthony Edwards and John Morant and Jaron Jackson. And they picked up Drummond, too. Brandon. Oh, wow. 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 And then, obviously, the Rockets. Yeah. This ain't going to be good for us. And then, right after the Kings, we got the Nuggets. This is going to be tough. Regardless, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go and like it up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.